Hello everyone and welcome back to SoCaliRific. Today we have made our way back to Universal Studios Hollywood. We have a lot to talk about, so of course we're going to walk around, see all the updates, and see what's new. So come along and let's go. So the first thing we did when we got to the park, of course, was rush to the studio tour because it is crowded and we didn't want to wait in a long line. So we got on there. I wanted to see the Halloween Horror Night updates and we do have a few. So for the first thing we saw, Stage 15 was open and that's where the weekend was last year. And there are rumors, rumors have been going around online that that house is gonna be Stranger Things. Season four, Vecna, that would be amazing if that is true. They've had two Stranger Things houses so far, Halloween Horror Nights. And the second one they brought, I gotta admit, I wasn't like the biggest fan. So I hope they go hard on this one because everyone is going to be super hyped for Stranger Things Season 4 with Vecna. There's going to be a lot of high expectations and I really feel that they're going to try to meet those. So if they do it right, I am super excited for that house. But again, this is all rumors. It's not confirmed. It might not even be that, but that's just what we're hearing. And for the rumored holidays in hell, um, there was someone working on the facade, but again, it didn't look very different. And that is just the current progress of that house. Also today on the tour, we took a different route because Jupiter's claim, it was closed off. So we couldn't even go through there. So we went through the back. So I did get to see like the facade of the house on Curious George, the first one. And if you follow John Murdy on Twitter, he did confirm that that house is gonna be the Chucky house. So as you know, we did get an announcement last year that Chucky was coming and he confirmed that that is the location. So as I mentioned in my last video, people were right. Those boxes did resemble the Good Guy Dolls box. So we got to see that facade, but they did redirect us, like I said, because Jupiter's claim was closed. We couldn't go through there. So we got near the blue screen. As we were passing by, I was looking at Jupiter's claim, just see if I could see what they were doing. But that jupe, like big inflatable, was like all deflated on the side. So I don't know what's going on in there. I don't know if they're redoing it. You guys have any info? Let me know, because I'm just so curious what's going to happen with that. And then we went into Fast and the Furious. We saw the pre-show, and then we went into the building, and for some reason, it did not work. Honestly, it's not my favorite section, so I wasn't that sad about it. But I did feel bad for those who were there for their first time or just never rode the studio tour, because when I write it, I do notice that a lot of people do enjoy it for those who haven't experienced it. So they didn't get to experience that, but again, I wasn't too bummed. And lastly, we passed by the house which I don't know what it is, but they haven't been working on the facade. And like I mentioned before, John Murdy said they're not gonna be working on that facade until it is announced. So we just gotta wait and see. But Halloween Horror Nights did make an announcement last week and they did confirm that The Last of Us is coming here to Halloween Horror Nights. Um, it is gonna be based on the video game version, but I know a lot of people are excited and happy. And now John Murdy did confirm that this location, this house near the mummy, will be the last of us so we're going to be looking at this facade more closely and for those of you who are familiar with the last of us let me know what you think this facade could possibly be and also from the studio tour we did get that facade they were working on it a little but again not really any changes so the fast x promotion has been replaced and now they are promoting their upcoming films right here we got teenage kraken oppenheimer strays and the new Trolls movie. Are you guys gonna be watching any of these movies coming out soon? You know it's hot at Universal when they turn on these Mr. Fans, but it is greatly appreciated. They feel so nice, especially on a super hot day. So stage 56, where special effects used to be, is still standing currently, unlike Production Central and the Animal Actors area. So we'll definitely be keeping our eye out on here just to see what they're planning to do with this area. Again, they just have a little piece of the building torn off right there. But other than that, it's still standing. I am definitely not used to this view. So last time I came, they were getting rid of the Animal Actors building. But since I haven't been here, they also got rid of Production Central. So those two buildings are gone. And I am not used to this view. From the Simpsons area, you could actually see like the Minion. It just looks so crazy. I'm not used to this at all. Ooh, but they are moving along quickly. The sign still stands though. That hasn't been removed quite yet. And again, I do want to mention it is summer and the crowds are here. So make sure to get here early to ride those attractions, 
get that Super Nintendo reservation. Currently we have a Minion meeting in the Parisian Courtyard. Is that a sign for what's to come? Will there be a Minion takeover eventually of this section? Now we have Gru and another Minion out. They usually meet right over here, but maybe because, I don't know, the queue is extended for Secret Life of Pets. It's a busy day. Maybe they didn't want to block the walkway, so they moved them over there. But I'm surprised, they're usually in front of the home for girls. Oh, never mind. This is not extended queue. Looks like they're working on the floor. This is the first time in a while that I've seen this little water park actually being used by a lot of people. So of course I wanted to come to the lookout just to see what it looks like from back here of the former Animal Actors building. And yep, look at that. It is so demolished. Even Production Central. Now you could even see like the Simpsons ride from back here. But that is crazy. Like I said, they move so quickly. So again, we're gonna be coming back just to keep seeing this progress and seeing how quickly they're gonna be moving for the next attraction. I wanted to show you guys a new Coca-Cola freestyle souvenir cup. Since Universal is celebrating the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park, this is their new cup and I gotta say, it is pretty cool. Look at that. Again, this house looks the same. We are just waiting for these walls to come down. So I cannot wait to see what this whole facade completely looks like but we just had to stop by just to see if there was anything different. So we haven't really talked about the house that is located over here. Last year it was Universal Horror Hotel. It was supposed to be Evil Dead Rise. Since that movie was delayed, they didn't bring the house to Halloween Horror Nights, but there was a ton of similarities between that movie and Universal Horror Hotel. But I do wonder if we'll be getting Evil Dead Rise this year then, or will it be a new house? John Murdy said that this house is already completed, so that seems like that was super fast. <laughs> and the question is, was it fast? Because they kept a lot of the same elements from the horror hotel just to change it over to Evil Dead Rise. We do not know yet. Again, we are waiting for a lot of announcements. That's a super cool photo. You got all the Scooby-Doo gang with Scooby-Doo in front of the mystery machine. That's pretty awesome. So Universal is doing a lot of construction. Right now they have some walls up over here. I am not certain why, but of course, we'll be back next week just to see if there was any changes. It might be something minor, but I'm going to keep my eye on it for sure. So last week, they did have a Halloween Horror Nights merchandise reveal, and it was The Last of Us. So they did get in this mug right over here, and they have the same design on the t-shirt. So again, this house will be based on the PlayStation version, not the TV show, but it is celebrating its 10 year anniversary. So that is super cool. And this is what the shirt looks like. And in the back in red, it has Halloween Horror Nights 2023. And on the sleeve, you can see The Last of Us. So personally, I do not do well in a white t-shirt. I know I would get it messy, but for those of you that can handle it, here it is. Also right next to it, they do have some Chucky merch, but this has been here for a while. I hope they bring some new merch to go with this house from the TV series. So something new they got in for the Universal Monsters. Look at these plushies. I love these plushies. I think they're just so cute. So up first, we got the bride, Frankenstein. This is so cute. Look how adorable he is. Up next is the Wolfman. You can see like his little teeth. I also like the tag too as well. We got the creature from the Black Lagoon. Look at this. Super cool. And lastly, we have Dracula. Let's see if he has little fangs. Yes. And these are going for $17. So again, these are so adorable. So let me know which one is your favorite. Gabby Cabby's Cab has been moved up over here. All right, there's construction in that other area, so that's probably why they moved it. But she's doing a little meet and greet with the police officer. All right, Gabby just threw the officer a rope. Ooh. <laughs> she's pulling him in, she's pulling him in. She got him. Oh, you got people jumping rope. <laughs> Anyone else get it in? This is so cute, this is so fun. So in my last video I showed you the Villain Con collection, but this backpack is newer. I didn't get to see this or feature this in my video 
last time. So I just wanted to show you again. It is a lounge fly. And in the back it says Villain Con. And this is what the inside looks like, in case you're curious. All right, here's the current stock of all like the hats. They didn't have a Yoshi last time, nor did they have Goomba or Mario. So they're finally bringing some more items back in stock. They have the Mario hat back in stock, as well as the Luigi hat. Last week, we finally got a Halloween Horror Nights announcement. So how do you guys feel? Are you guys excited for this house to come? So personally, I haven't played the video game and I didn't watch the TV show. So I don't know much about it, but everyone who's a fan of The Last of Us seems super excited. So I was gonna get the video game, but I went to buy it, it was 70 bucks. So I was like, maybe I should just watch the YouTube walkthrough. And I started watching it and it looked cool. So then I stopped because I'm thinking, I think I'm just gonna get the game. And for those of you who play the game, do you guys think it's worth the $70? Should I buy the game or should I just watch it on YouTube? Let me know. All right, everyone. So that was our weekly updates here at Universal Studios. I was only here for two hours because again, it's summer, the crowds are here. So I just try to quickly get the updates and get out. But of course, I'll be back next week just to see what's new. So for now, don't forget to hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button because we're gonna have more videos coming soon. Until next time, bye guys.